arrest oh. it happens to you guys on stage during your career as a musician <laughs> when it starts <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know we've been playing for 20 years so I mean there's plenty of moments <laughs> where everything's gone wrong I mean god no, I don't know where to start I try to forget you know <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'm not gonna say but it was fairly recently I think <laughs> All right. Because that's another question, it's really the same. By the time everyone wanna live, about, um, wanna become a rock star, or live like a rock star, have you got a funny story about uh, something that happens on the backstage? Something wild like about the liquor? You know? I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe I can't even tell you some of the stories. <laughs> I mean, you know, things happen. It's a lot of fun. There are a lot of things happen when you're younger, I think, when you're, you're touring. Things were a lot more fun in the old days, you know, before the internet. We'd uh, just turn up at venues in the van and just, you know, go around all the girls at the end of the gig and say, hey, you know, have you got a place to stay? <laughs> it was a lot more fun back then. Uh, I don't know. We always say, you know, what goes on tour stays on tour, and like, I can get people in trouble. <laughs> so, what, if you remember, what is the first record you listened that brought you to the genre of the style of the music that uh, you are playing right now? St. Vitus. <laughs> yeah, I think it was uh, Mournful Cries, probably. Since you were a child, you want to become a musician? Yeah, yeah, ever since. Yeah, ever since I've heard Black Sabbath, really. Alright. Oh, I've always, uh, yeah, well, well, I wanted to play riffs. I think that was the first thing I wanted to do. Yeah. I mean, I heard, like, uh, War Pigs, you know, and it's, it's a simple song, but I mean, as a, as a youngster, that was something I'd get into rather than trying to learn how to play leads. But playing riffs was something, you know, you could get a feeling straight away. I mean, Start doing that immediately. <laughs> Stop playing guitar. Yeah. You guys are a lot in a horror Italian movies. Really, it, it's a, a natural thing about the link of your music and the Italian horror. Or it was something uh, that uh, that happens later. Oh, no. We grew up. I grew up with horror films. You know. I mean, uh, and Italian horror films always had a big thing for everyone in England. I mean. I mean, horror films were banned in England, essentially, you know, through the 80s, and there was always, like, Italian horror films, they're the hard ones, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, I think heavy metal is a, it's a culture, and there's, there's horror films, there's, there's horror comics, there's, there's certain things, you know, they always are part of heavy metal. I mean, I think I liked horror movies before, like, music, really. <laughs> I like the imagery, I like the darkness, but uh, it's not a negative thing, it's kind of... So I mean, you can, uh, as an outsider, you feel a like connection with it. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a personal, uh, you know, a personal feeling that I had every time I see you guys on stage. You know that uh, Electric Wizard concert it is uh, not only music, it's a sort of physical influence you got. Because uh, some people, uh, it's not just to listen to music and see heavy or not. It's like the, the volume of the bass, something like that. You really feel, it's a really beat you up. Yeah. I mean, you know that. But... I want people to feel it, to really feel the music, you know. It's not It's not just about listening. You can listen to a record. When you go to a gig, you have to, you have to feel it. And I mean, as young as that was, I meant volume. I mean, I like, you have to be overwhelmed by a band. There, there mustn't be any room for them your thoughts or chatting to your friends you know you have to be engulfed and that's something I always enjoyed being lost in that moment you know when music really is so heavy you you forget everything that's something I've always enjoyed and mixing that with weed I mean it gives me the oblivion and, the, and peace of mind you know? <laughs> Guys, yeah, uh, this is the second, third time you see Memphis. Third, third time. Yeah. What do you think about this, uh, this festival? It's it's awesome. One of our favorite. Uh, we love coming here. Yeah. We have a good relationship with with the Hellfest. They like us coming here. <laughs> you know, it's something. Yeah. It's, it's a good, good feeling. It's always a good festival. Yeah. Everyone here to have a good time. Yeah. It's an awesome bands. I mean, you can't right. just come here as a metalhead and what are you not going to enjoy? You know, yeah. I mean, you've got to be fucking really. It's miserable. <laughs> and uh, we 
well, the routine question. As a guy of your generation, what do you think about the connection between the internet and uh, music? Uh, it, it's, it's killed everything that I thought was fun about music, you know. I mean, maybe it's fun for people to, to get their CD out or to people to tell them they're fantastic, but there was a feeling once of going on stage and, you know, just turning an audience towards you just with your music, not with hype or with uh, how clever you are and fucking promoting yourself, you know, just getting out there and playing yeah. like a real band. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. ever fought with any other musician doing a live, doing a tour, doing something? Did what? Well, get pissed off. Oh, shit. Pissed off? Well, like another, uh, in our own band? Another musician, maybe. Huh? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody stress you out. Well, yeah, but you don't really act on it. <laughs> no, that's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> Probably alright. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. people, you know, you, you've known for many years. It's a weird thing of musicians, you know? I mean, I'll probably, some of my best friends in music, I probably don't even like their band, but it's a hard thing to say. <laughs> They're nice people, I like them, I like their attitude, I like the way they, they approach music, and I like the way they, they try to achieve what they want to do. I can appreciate anyone who's really genuine. I don't like people who you know, like fake, you know, they kind of bore me rather than angry me. I've got time for it. Is there something that, that scares you about being a celebrity, about being known like a rock star? I don't know, I speak, I speak last year with a flat button. And the secret of that flat button is afraid of stalkers. You guys have one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're all right, really, when she gets to know <laughs> They ain't messed up. I had a stalker when I was a teenager, before I was really? in a band, so yeah, they're kind of... They're scary people, but we haven't really had one in the band. It's not, it's not about the band. <laughs> yeah. Not about it. <laughs> if someone likes the band that much, I mean, it's, I've engaged with these people, and they, you know, they're, they're cool, really. I mean, you got to see people for what they really are. I mean, everyone's got a reason for what they do. I try to be understanding. Is there a music style that you don't like at all, that you despise? I really don't like that that dance music or whatever is popular. Seventy dance music. No, no, no. Like modern. Uh, I don't ah. even know what it's called. You know, it's what's popular. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I, there's I, many I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, I mean, I don't I like. It. I can't listen to hip hop or anything. To me, it sounds like a, a noise. <laughs> I mean, I'm too old. I don't read. Really, I mean. It really, I don't like country western too much. It's too. I don't like depressing shit. The worst thing for me is like Coldplay or something like that. I mean, literally, like, what are they trying to do to me? I'm just supposed to be like uplifted, or at least maybe want to fucking get up and do something. Not. Ooh, I'm so depressed. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs>